It's the end of Casa, and that was dramatic. But let's face it, Kayla is definitely going to get back with Arne. She's weak as fuck. Love Island GSA season 6, and I'm watching this on ITVX in the UK, and it is the last day of Casa. And Aaron pulls Daniela for a chat, and he tells her that he's still thinking about Kayla, and he doesn't think that they can go forward, basically. And I thought, too late now. Like, once you've got to that stage where you're, like, been kissing somebody and in bed with them and rubbing their feet and you've already told somebody back in the villa that you've got strong feelings for them or that you could be falling in love with them, it's too late. You might as well just fucking take her back. So in a really creepy turn of events, Rob and Daniela ended up speaking and it was like, I know that Daniela and Arne didn't really do anything other than kiss, but it was just weird because they hadn't seemed interested in each other. And then the two of them are chatting and you kind of knew at this point that he was going to be taking Daniela back to the villa. Kayla was obviously fucking pissed at Arne and she's screaming at the top of her lungs, fuck you Arne, fuck you Cass and all that. And Arne's out in the garden hearing her screaming, he's like, oh I wonder what's happening over there. Gee, I wonder what could be happening. If you'd ever watched Love Island USA you would know that they probably received a video message. Fucking idiot. So Kayla was then talking to one of the guys in the villa and you knew fine well that she wasn't going to be pairing up with anybody. She was just kind of trying to make herself feel better by getting validation for another guy, which is fine. You know, she didn't do anything wrong. So this whole time I feel like Kenny has genuinely been thinking about Janae. You've seen him talking about her a lot and saying that she's really mature and he doesn't really know what to do and stuff. But they weren't really paired up for long. So when they got the text saying it was time to go back to the villa, they were fucking freaking out. And Cordell was like, oh, I just need one more day. I feel as if I just need more time. And to be honest, I don't think that Casa is on for long enough. I think it should be at least a full week because they don't really have time to make these connections. And not only that, but after the girls had got the video message, eh, what the boys had done, if they had like another two days, they might have thought by that time, do you know what, fuck him. I'm going to get to know somebody else. I'm going to pair up with somebody else. And things would have ended differently. I don't know, I feel like the, the amount of days that they get is just, we need more. So it was time for the fire pit and Liv chose Kane. And when they didn't bring Rob out, you knew fine well that Rob was coming back with Daniela. And I almost feel as if they should have brought Daniela out first because then the whole time it would have been awkward for her and it would have been much more dramatic and everybody would have been sitting there like that with the fuck's going on. But obviously the producers had a different idea. So Kendall and Nicole paired back up and it was a sweet moment. I absolutely love Kendall. He's one of my favourites. And when Miguel came back, I feel like the way Liv and the other girls acted was out of order because like Miguel said, they've only been paired up for two days and I okay, Liv really liked him. But the whole time she was saying, oh, you know what he's like, you know what he's like. We all know what he's like. He's a fucking slut bag. So obviously he's got to come back with somebody else. And I actually don't even think he'd done anything wrong because they were only paired up for two days. I he knew her for longer than that, but she'd been paired up with other people. Can somebody out there please explain to me why some people who live in London try and speak with, like, a Jamaican accent? It really fucking disturbs me, right? Like, you know how I'm always moaning about roadmen and stuff? But you get other people who'll be sitting talking and then all of a sudden they'll try and speak Jamaican. I'm like, what the f- fuck is wrong with you? Please tell me why. Janae chose to stay single and again I was a bit shocked at how they reacted with Kenny because they were just a new couple. They didn't know each other that well so even though Janae was hurt I still don't think that Kenny was really in the wrong. I don't know let me know what you think in the comments. So it was time for Arne to come back and when he came in, he was like, yes, let's fucking go. And he was celebrating. And I thought, what is wrong with him mentally? Because even though Kayla's standing there on her own, he knows what he's done. He knows that he's been kissing another girl. He knows that he's been rubbing another girl's ugh, feet. And he knows that he's going to have to tell her about it. So the fact that he's celebrating, oh yeah, she's standing there on her own. What the fuck is wrong with him? Like, does he need some sort of fucking mental evaluation? He should be fucking shit in his pants if he really cared about her that much because he knows that he's going to have to tell her what he's been doing. 
And I know that they weren't boyfriend and girlfriend and they weren't technically closed off. But before he went away, he was the one saying, oh, I'm getting feelings for you and all the shit that guys talk. And then they think it's all right to just go and just go with somebody else. Just because they're not closed off doesn't really mean anything. Do you know what I mean? He made out to her as if he wanted to be her boyfriend at one point, And I was just like, he is a fucking dick. Now, to be fair, Kayla stood there and she wasn't losing her shit, right? She had it together. And she was saying to him, I got a video, what do you think i seen it? And he's like, oh, I don't know, we can talk about it later, we can talk about it. Why talk about it later? Why the fuck do you want to talk about it later? All the cameras are going to be there, everybody's going to be there. So you might as well just say your piece now instead of being a fucking shite bag. If I was Kayla, I'd have been like, ah, no, I want you to say it now, because if you don't say it now, you're not going to have a chance later. Speak up for yourself. You think you can go over to Casa and touch people's feet and kiss them and tell them that you want to kiss them and, or whatever else. And then now you're what you come back and now you don't want to say anything. Fucking speak up. Now I would absolutely bet my life savings that Kayla's going to get back with Arm. Because when he walked back in, she was like crying, but it was like happy crying, like relieved that he wasn't with somebody else. So if she was really that pissed off at him, it would have been like, oh well he's single. He's single and I'm single. But the way she reacted was like, oh thank God he's not with anybody. Whereas when Serena was standing there, if Cordell had walked in on his own, she'd have still have been like that. Too late. So they're definitely getting back together. Serena was 100% prepared for Cordell coming back in. She didn't shed a tear. She didn't look weak. She was just like, I'm single, he's single, that's that, right? And I wasn't sure if he was going to come back with somebody or not, but I kind of thought he would. And to be honest, I kind of do think that he's got a better connection with that other girl, but that's only because she was willing to fucking grind on his dick after two days, do you know what I mean? So I would have a stronger connection compared to somebody who's trying to keep her self-respect and trying to protect herself. But then will the other lasses just willing to jump on him like that? Aye, he's going to feel like the connection's stronger faster. That's just how men work. Now listen, she went in there with her heart set in Cordell when she was on after some before she even went into the house. She says that she was going in there for him and she put her all in and I don't feel like she did anything wrong, do you know what I mean? Like they were in Casa so technically they were all bombshells and she did what she set to do so it's not her fault but Cordell's the one who was paired up with somebody else and he's the one who should have been able to say no, I'm not interested or let's just get to know each other without fucking getting into bed and doing whatever and smacking her ass and whatever else but 90% of men, and I know that not all men are the same, but 90% of men are weak. You offer it to them and they take it. That's that's just the unfortunate way it is. So Serena was absolutely not taking any shit, and neither she should. But at the same time, I still see Cordell side it, because the way she was like holding back and trying to protect her heart and all that, it did make it look as if she wasn't that interested in him. So I do see both sides. However, when he came in and she's like, the way she was talking to him and all that, I was like, ah, good for you. You stand up for yourself. I would be fucking shocked if anything happened in this where she decided to get back with Cordell. That is it. He's fucked her over and that's it. So obviously Rob came back with Daniela and poor fucking Kayla. She's clapping like, oh yeah, he's brought somebody back. Didn't even realise who it was. And then when she realised, I felt so bad for her. And then Arne just sat there with his face chatting him. And he says, oh, do you not think that's weird? And he's like, oh, we'll talk, we'll talk later, we'll talk. Fucking talk now, you wee fucking dick. Honest to God. How they could have sat there while he's like, ah, oh, we'll talk later. Fucking speak now or forever, hold your fucking peace. So anyway, Cass is over. And while I genuinely don't think that these two girls have done anything wrong, right? They went, they were in Casa and they did their job. However, if I was in that house and I was friends with Kayla and Serena, it would be the most awkward fucking situation ever. I wouldn't make them feel welcome at all. I would be a complete bitch and people would be like, that. oh, she's bullying them and I'd be like, that I because they're fucking sluts. And that's just honestly the way I would be. I know it sounds bad, but that's just how I would be. But I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!